So what problem are we trying to solve today? So what is the best way that we can make a soundproof studio? What materials are the best to use to cancel out the outside noise? It was very interesting to see students analyze the data they collected when testing their studios with the decibel meter and make connections with the data and the designs of each studio. This allowed students to think critically and problem solve through hands-on inquiry. They were able to put themselves into the shoes of an engineer and go through the problem solving process as well. It was really fun to work with my classmates to build this soundproof studio. 60.5. So 47.8, 60.5, so let's just say 47 to 60 is. Uh huh. So guys, take a look up there. The first reading that we did yesterday was 56.7 um, minus 45.8. Something I learned while doing this project is that soft material like bubble wrap absorb and things like folders reflect. I learned that bubble wrap and egg cartons work the best in this project. I learned that cotton balls and old gym pants won't work because they absorb the sound waves. A little bit higher. Let's do group number two. Not limiting the students to the types of materials they could use to build their soundproof studios really pushed them to think outside of the box and collaborate together to plan and design very creative and unique soundproof studios, each one very different from the next.